Okay guys, Chinese Magnums. What I did is I increased the bowl ratio a little bit on both the intake and exhaust and we float it. It's going to be a relatively quick video. You can see our liquid still looks good. We still got a little bit on the chamber. We look fairly good here. But did we gain anything on the flow sheet? That's the important part. All right, maybe I shouldn't say important part, but the interesting part. Now, I didn't increase the throat ratios a huge amount. I mean, it felt like a lot when I was grinding it because I do have an insert in. in uh, so I went from an 82% intake throat. If I do the calculation the same way, it's 82.9%. It didn't even gain a 1%, right? But you gotta remember, the seat is only 1.97. So if you calculate it by that, it's an 85% throat, which is closer to my 88% throat go-to number. Okay, I think I'm going to inch up on these. I will do a little bit more on that. And I have to do a bunch of work on the short side because take a look at what happened with our flows, right? This is our fourth cut, 202. This is our fifth cut, 202. We got plus, 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 happy there. Loser, loser, happy, loser. Got real happy around 485, it went to 268, and then it completely lost it. See the B? Buffeting like crazy. These are all basically unusable flows at this point. Okay? So what happened is the short side just gave up really hard, and that was it. It was... Uh, it was not good at all. So we have hit or miss increases here, right? At 300, we barely changed. But where we maxed out before at 251, we went to 268. 268 is more like what I want to see. Okay? Now you got to remember that's still got the stock floor on the short side, and it still has the stock chamber shape. So considering we have the issue with the smaller seat. It's really not bad if I can boost this up in the mid-range. You know what, let's take a quick look at the last sheet from the New Zealand uh, head, which still had the 1.92. Let's put that up next to this and see how we're doing. Okay, well, let's see what we did. This, is, this was the finished Magnums, right, with the 1.92 valves. They topped out at 267 at 5, looks like 575 lift. Okay. How are we across from this? All right, not bad. This is actually a touch better. This is a touch better. This is a touch better. It's got a bigger valve, guys. Touch better. That's where I usually gain with the bigger valve, right around here. It doesn't necessarily top out better. Okay, we did a little better at 300. And then this, this starts to take off because this has got the better short side radius on it. Interesting, right? Not really bad compared to what we saw out of the New Zealand uh, casting. Not, not bad. Remember, this needed a lot of work, though. It seems, in my opinion, the Chinese heads need uh, considerable more grinding to make something good out of them. So what I think I may do is I may take a touch more out of the bowls. Actually, you know what? I won't. But we didn't go over the airspeeds. Let's go over the airspeeds. You'll see what happened. The airspeeds went crazy. Okay, these are our fourth cut 202. That's when I first put the 202 valve in there. Right? And now I opened the bowl ratio. We'll take a look what happened. First of all, I had to take all of our, our, my readings at a half inch lift because by six inch it had completely separated and those air speeds aren't going to be any good. Now it was starting to separate here already too at 600 but it didn't sound as horrendous. So these flows are really moving like 268. Okay these speeds. So you can see our pinch gained a huge amount. Okay. Because in reality, it's going from like 234 to 268. So you would expect it to go up. Okay. That's what our roof was. Our roof both got pluses. And that's what our short side was. 
way up, okay? We've got to do some work on this short side. More than anything else, the short side needs work. We've got to get these a little bit closer. We've got to try to knock that speed down, so we've got to give it some area. We've got to see uh, how thick the casting is, because I do not want to make it thin. You can hear the dogs going nuts. Must be somebody walking by, walking to a dog nearby. Sheesh, they're crazy. <sighs> okay, let's do uh, the exhaust valve. <laughs> You'll like this, because I kind of goofed on this. Okay, fourth cut. The only thing different about this, I had the SI valve, okay? Now I, what I did is I opened the throat a little bit. I didn't open it a huge amount. It went from like 84%. In reality, it barely opened up at all. All right, this was the measurement, 3.68 to 3.7. It barely changed. But it changed the dynamics of the port enough that it uh, makes you wonder. Let's take a quick look. All right, we got plus, plus, plus. We still have our noise. Minus, 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 minus. All of these are minuses. And we plus out better here, but I didn't make the port any bigger. Remember, it's only supposed to pass about 192. So I literally have to make that port bigger now in order to get anything else out of it, which isn't a problem. It's very small where it is right now. Way smaller than a New Zealand exhaust port. Okay, this is where our speeds were. Right, they were all down versus the magnum valve, remember? And this is where we are now. Okay, take a look at how much different those air speeds are, right? This is where we were. Relatively even across the metal, nice. Not bad across the roof. Really not bad across the floor. All right, we sped up all across the roof. Still relatively even. Across the middle can't get more even than that. 334, 335, 334. And on the floor, 360, uh, 262, 270, and it died a little bit more right in the center than it was. Okay, so what do I think needs to be done? I think that whole port needs to be made a tight, tiny bit bigger, and I think it'll improve. So that's what I'm going to do with that. I'm not going to change the throat ratio. I'm going to keep it tight for now. I only like an, about an 86% throat on an exhaust. Remember, guys, I'm doing high-performance street stuff. Alrighty. Let me think. Let me think hard before I quit on this one. Alright, I'm down my good light, so... We'll show you what we can show you. Now, remember, that pinch is starting to give us some trouble, so I may need to add some area to that. I may do a bunch of things to these before our next cut. I got... I'm spending too much time on these already, but we're gonna have to uh, we're gonna have to do something with it. Okay, that view of the chamber there looks pretty good. Not bad. And we've got a lot of blue on the short side and on the wall. All right, guys. I promised I'd keep this one short. It really is interesting, though. You know what we're going to do? We're going to take a quick look at the difference in the bowl size of the stock Magnum versus this one. That That is impressive. Okay, so these calipers are set by the size of the Chinese castings right in here. This has got a much more gradual curve to the valve seat. Remember, the other one's got a heavy insert in there, so it's it comes out more this way. Now, I could shrink it up some more. When you're doing that, though, you're taking away strength from the insert. It's still almost stock size, so I don't think it's really a problem at this point. But uh, I like to be conservative because I like stuff that lasts. All right, guys. You know what? I'd like some some input from guys that know inserts better than I do. How thin do they push them? The exhaust is not a problem. Take a look at how thick the exhaust insert is. Okay, the exhaust insert. I mean, the seat is is here. 
You can see the seat there, it's relatively thin. Look how much more insert we have. You know what they, you know what they need to do. I need to redesign these for EQ. Is what it needs to be. All right. We need to change the size, size of this insert. We need to change the size of this insert. Okay. We need to do some work to this chamber. We need to do some work to that short side. Need to do some work to where you have water and where you don't have water. I don't, guys, I'll be glad to fix these up for you. It's just an amount, you know, it's just time and money. That's all it is. A little bit of time and a little bit of your money. I could fix these up. I know. But at this point, guys, not really thrilled with these. I called Rob yesterday. I'm like, dude, what, what kind of... What better cylinder heads do we have for magnums? And he started, you know what we talked about? We talked about the aluminum trick flows. His wife's got them on his, his wife's car. And I'm going to see about uh, doing a little research on those. Maybe we'll, uh, maybe we'll open up that up. Maybe somebody's got a set of aluminum trick flows that wants to set done up. Just an idea, guys, because... These require a ton of work, a ton, not really, not really worth it as far as I'm concerned, okay? All right, guys, thanks for hanging out. Have a good night.